Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm going to talk about and show you guys some hash rates for NVIDIA cards on the new Ravencoin Kapow algorithm. All right, so that's going to be coming up in a few days here. And I'm going to be using NB Miner, which is just came out three days ago as of making this video. Link down below so you guys can try it if you want on your rigs. But mainly the reasons why I'm going to be using this for Kapow is because they have a new dash dash memory dash tweak command here that we can use apparently to optimize memory timings of NVIDIA GDDR5 and GDDR5X GPUs. So mainly the 10 series GPUs. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys some mining cards thanks to one of my mods named Boris who gave me access to his whole farm. Uh, so I'm gonna be showing you guys some uh, P106s, P104 100s and P102s. Uh, 100s, okay? And also, I'm going to show you guys some hash rates from my own rigs. I have a 1080 Ti rig, a GTX 1060 rig, 3 gigabyte card rig, actually, and a P104 rig that's in Windows, okay? So, as you guys all know, I'm, a, I'm mainly a Windows miner. Okay, so let me begin first. You guys see here, NB Miner, link down below in case you guys want to try it. But I'm going to show you case to you guys in Hive OS these mining-specific cards mainly, okay? So let's start with the P106 rig. And I've already made the flight sheet for testing Kapow on Miner More. And as you guys can see here, at uh, 65 power limit, or 65 watts, uh, 100 core, 400 memory. Currently, we are getting 10.31 mega hash, and uh, at <laughs> 65 watts, which is actually amazing. And yeah, I've actually tried a few different numbers here. I also tried 80 watts, and I actually have a picture here. I took a screenshot. So if I moved it or bumped up the the wattage up to about 80 watts, you guys can see here we're getting about 11.41 and 11.58 and so on and so forth. But as you guys know, or hopefully you know, I've explained this before, is that with Kapow, every block it kind of randomizes the algorithm a little bit. So the mega hash does change a little bit here and there. I noticed that it's actually more drastic on AMD cards, but Nvidia cards, it's maybe, you know, a 0.3 there, 0.5 mega hash difference there uh, in terms of the hash rates changing every time a block changes. Okay, so you can see here the P106s, maybe they are a different hash rate now. Let's go to it. So. Yeah, so it, it'll change per block, but uh, yeah, right, looking at it right now, we're getting about 10.5 uh, middle ground on 65 watts. Do I think running it at 80 watts is maybe better? Yeah, yes and no. It, it depends. I think uh, the P106s can run a little bit more and probably run up to like 12 or 13 mega hash. It just, you know, it really depends. I didn't want to go too high because these aren't my rigs. And uh, Boris, thanks so much again, my friend. I didn't want to burn out uh, the P PSU, PS, uh, the power supplies or anything. So, okay. Now, continuing, I want to show you guys the next rig that Boris has let me uh, try. So, we're going to try the P104-100 mining rig here. And you guys can see straight out of the gate at 120 power limit or 120 watts, uh, 125 core, 1000 memory. We are getting about 14 mega hash essentially on P104s. And uh, yeah, I did try, I have another screenshot here of, you know, bumping down the power consumption to 110, 110 watts. And that gave us about 12, point, uh, 12 mega hash to 12.5 to 12.7 mega hash. Uh, depends on silicon lottery, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, you guys can see here the hash rates for the P104s at 110 watts. And then I have another picture here at 120 watts, so 14 mega hash. And then I have another picture here at 130 watts. So that bumped it up to almost 16 mega hash for each of the P104s, probably more so averaging about 15.6, 15.5 mega hash across the board. And of course, these will probably change, you know, as the block changes all the time. I, I couldn't really get an average of that, but that's just roughly, roughly what the mega hash is. And you guys can see the power consumption. Uh, in these pictures as well. So going from 110 watts was 1.3 kilowatts, and 120 was 1.433 kilowatts, and 1.5 kilowatts for 130 watts, uh, and so on and so forth. You guys can probably see. So that's pretty cool. I think if you ran these P104s at stock power consumption, you would probably be able to get about 
uh, almost up to 20 mega hash. So yeah, and I'm gonna assume that could be the same with the P106s, where you can get up to maybe 15 or 16 mega hash at full, full bore, full power consumption. You know, everything that that might be possible. I didn't want to do it though because you know, as I said before, these aren't my rigs, and I don't want to burn them out per se. So. Uh, Boris, thanks again. All right, next up, uh, the last rig I want to show you on Kapow is the P102s. And these are BIOS modded to 10 gigabytes, all right? They have the 180 power limit here, 180 watts. And roughly, they're getting about 20 to 21 mega hash across all these P102s right now. And you guys can see the core and memory that we used. So I would say not as efficient as... I would say P106s. I think the P106s are obviously probably the most efficient. Uh, obviously, I think the out of all the NVIDIA cards from what I've seen so far is the 1660s, 1660 Ti. I think those are really the most, probably the most efficient cards for mining, I think. But hey, the P106s are doing pretty well, I think, compared to like the P104s and the, uh, the P102s. The P102s take quite a bit of power. 180 watts, but I'm pretty sure if we bump it up to 200 or 220 or maybe 250 watts, we can get over, you know, 26, 25 mega hash. Um, I did not test that because, again, I didn't want to burn out the power supplies too much or give it too much power. Okay, now I wanted to show you guys my Windows rigs. I'll show, I'll keep showing you guys some more hash rates here for Kapow. I hope you guys aren't bored. Uh, let's keep it going here. I'm going to show you my 1080 Ti rig okay so this is my 1080 ti rig using the latest nb miner 30.0 and you guys can see i'm just i'm gonna pull up the batch file here i the mainly the biggest thing i added was the dash dash memory dash tweak and then the number four apparently you can go one through six but i think number four seemed to be the best for my 1080 ti's okay and you can see here i'm getting roughly 25 to 26 mega hash on each of my 1080 ti's at 70 power limit uh, plus 100 core, plus 400 memory, and yeah, not too bad. Power consumption is about 191 to 180, almost, yeah, 190 watts average for each of the 1080 Ti's, okay? 25 to 26 mega hash. I've seen it go up and down uh, to 26 to 24 to 25, so yeah, it does change, as I said before, during each block per se okay so yeah that's my 1080 ti's pretty nice i like that now i'm going to show you my windows rig on with uh, p104s okay uh, the power consumption right now you can see roughly is about 124 to 130 watts per card and then you can see my power limit here 71 i have plus 200 core plus 600 memory and these p104s are bios modded to the 8 gigabytes versions all right 8 gigabyte bios and of course, these are the EVGA P104s. And you can see here, I'm getting roughly 14.6 mega hash to sometimes 14.6, 14.3, 14.5, 14.7 mega hash. And uh, yeah, the, the hash rates do fluctuate 14.8, 14.9, almost 15 mega hash at these settings. Okay, so these are my P104s. Not too bad, but I think in terms of efficiency, it's not too great. I would say the P104s can maybe battle against the, uh, maybe like an RX 580, possibly, or maybe a, even a Vega 56. I think my Vega 56, I was able to get like 16 mega hash or I was able to get like 20 mega hash, but that's at like 300 watts. So that's not efficient at all. Okay. So that's my P104 rig. Let me show you guys my last rig here. And it's my 1060 three gigabyte cards. And I believe Ravencoin is going to be starting the DAG file at 2.3 or 2.5 gigabytes. So 3 gigabyte 1060s are still able to mine on Ravencoin. And I'm actually having an issue with this rig. It's been having some errors, some kernel errors or something. I Yeah, this, this 1060 rig hasn't been doing too well on this Kapow here. So yeah, it is kind of freezing. So give me a sec and I will fix this. Okay, I just restarted the 1060 rig. <laughs> it was definitely freezing. I couldn't do anything. Uh, let's try it again and see what kind of hash rates we get on this rig. Hopefully it doesn't crash. It probably will, but hopefully I can see it run. We can see, we can see it run on the first try here. Uh, so I think theoretically though, we should be able to get about 10 to, f 10 to 11 mega hash on my 1060s here. These all have Samsung memory, okay? 
and nope it crashed all right so let me try it one more time here let's see let's let's hit the batch file and uh, you guys can see my uh, MSI afterburner settings 1063 gigabyte cards with Samsung memory and let's uh, I'll wait for it to build up here and you guys will see hopefully hopefully it won't crash building the DAG there we go 10.6 mega hash 10.72 and waiting for it it looks like it's gonna work almost there we go 10.83 10.84 10.9 almost 11 mega hash for each of my 1060s here at uh, 70 power limit and uh, if I were to go lower or higher, we would obviously gain our, uh, if we went lower, we would, we would get lower hash rate. And if we went higher power limit, we would gain in mega hash. Okay. So, but uh, at 70 power limit, that might be the, uh, you know, even point, maybe 80, even 80 power limit might be the average, uh, maybe better efficiency. It really depends when we see the profitability, you know, obviously depending on the network hash rates, if they drop down, you know, to all the way down to like what, three terahash, four terahash, maybe up to 10 terahash, who knows? It really depends on it, the profitability that I think a lot of GPU miners could move towards really depends but hey I showed you guys all of the different hash rates and thanks again to Boris for let me bar his farm but you can see here in his user config he added the memory dash tweak mode here okay so apparently it does work and I will have another video showing you guys the memory tweak for NB miner on ETH hash for NVIDIA cards okay so stay tuned for that video that'll probably be coming in this week for sure but uh, the next couple days I'm gonna be talking about Ravencoin and uh, yeah hopefully you guys are excited as I am as you know every time there's a new coin you know a decently big coin out there right now that's gonna move to a new algorithm and hopefully kick off the uh, FPGAs uh, or maybe ASICs or the hybrid ASICs uh, that are out there right now on the Ravencoin network. Okay, my friends, so let me know what you guys think of the hash rates I just showed you and all of that stuff. And please, if you guys are testing the Kapow on your NVIDIA cards or AMD cards even, please let me know what you get down below in the comments. I would really appreciate it. I would love to get a bunch of numbers from everybody as I know there are a bunch of cards. I didn't have access to all NVIDIA cards, but hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of some knowledge of what cards we have uh, today. So hopefully that gives you some value. Okay, my friends, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Everyone say thank you to Boris in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.